before we begin, let me say a few words about what happened in Uvalde, Texas, elementary school. Since I spoke last night, the confirmed death toll has tragically climbed, including another teacher and two more, three more students. Jill and I will be traveling to Texas in the coming days to meet with the families and let them know we have a sense, just a sense of their pain, and hopefully bring some little comfort to the community in shock, in grief, and in trauma. As a nation, I think we all must be there for them, everyone. And uh, we must ask, when in God's name will we do what needs to be done to, if not completely stop, fundamentally change the amount of the carnage that goes on in this country? To state the obvious, and Corey and a lot of other people here, I'm sick and tired. I'm just sick and tired of what's going on and continues to go on. I spent my career as chairman of the Judiciary Committee and as vice president working for common sense gun reforms, as I said, as a senator and a vice president. While they clearly will not prevent every tragedy, we know certain ones will have significant impact and have no negative impact on the Second Amendment. Second Amendment is not absolute. When it was passed, you couldn't own a — you couldn't own a cannon. You couldn't own certain kinds of weapons. It's just always been limitations. But guess what? These actions we've taken before, they saved lives, and they can do it again. The idea that an 18-year-old can walk into a store and buy weapons of war designed and marketed to kill is, I think, just wrong. It just violates common sense. Even the manufacturer, the, the, the inventor of that weapon, thought that as well. 